Are you tired of the same old stuffed animals you have on your bed? Well, run! Don't walk to the store to find Squishmallows. Squishmallows are the fun-loving stuffed animals that you can collect. They come in many shapes, sizes, and colors. You can find Squishmallows at Target and Walmart. Squishmallows come in a huge variety to choose from. Head to the nearest store near you to get your very own Squishmallow. Chieftains, and welcome back to Live from the Tribe. We hope you had a wonderful weekend. I'm Caitlin Lovich, and she's Cameron Welch, and here we are with all the news and views for the week of April 24th to 28th. 21 year old Massachusetts National Air Guardsman Jack Texiera has been accused of leaking Pentagon documents on a gaming chat server and has been charged in a Boston court on two counts under the Espionage Act. These documents contain valuable information on intelligence agen agencies about the Russia-Ukraine conflict. Each count carries with it, with it a penalty of 10 years in prison. The Pentagon is facing concerns over the amount of people who have access to top secret documents and are currently assessing the situation to finding out how this happened in the first place. In this political environment in California, we are facing chaos, from Nathan Fletcher and his current troubles in his career to Dianne Feinstein being hospitalized. Will we make it to the elections, or will we need new officials before the campaigning even begins? For California Senate elections are more than a year away, but some candidates have already begun declaring their candidacy. This election is said to be one of the most watched races in the country due to incumbent Senator Dianne Feinstein retiring. Before I talk about the candidates, let's go over how California does elections first. California uses a unique jungle primary system, where all candidates, regardless of party affiliation, run together on the same primary ballot. The two candidates with the most votes advance to the general election, regardless of party. While no Republican candidates have announced their intent to run yet, three Democratic candidates have, those being Barbara Lee, Katie Porter, and Adam Schiff. Barbara Lee is a congresswoman from Oakland and is the most moderate Democratic candidate who has announced their run so far. Lee has been a longtime champion of LGBTQ plus and women's rights, and is also known for controversially opposing the AUMF resolution, which passed after the 9-11 attacks. Katie Porter, a progressive congresswoman from Orange County, has quickly become a rising star in the Democratic Party. Porter is known for her sharp questioning of corporate executives and how she fought to make COVID-19 testing free for all Americans. Adam Schiff, a congressman from Los Angeles, is best known for his role in the impeachment trial of Donald Trump. Schiff has also been involved in other congressional investigations, such as one investigating the January 6th insurrection. It is too early to determine who specifically will become the next senator of California, but it currently seems very likely it will be a Democrat. But that doesn't mean your vote doesn't matter. Depending on how progressive or moderate a winning candidate is, it could represent a future shift in the Democratic Party. Choosing who represents you is very important, so be sure to do some research before casting your votes in 2024. This has been Max Green, CSN. There has been a recent surge in teen-led riots. From Chicago to Compton, large groups of teenagers have been breaking out into convenience stores, lighting cars on fires, and looting. It is currently unknown if there was a political or social reason for this inexcusable behavior. Even if these riots are political in nature, this kind of behavior is lethal and must be avoided. Mobs like these are far from innocent. Three kids in the Chicago riots were shot, 14 arrested, and surrounding members of the community were victimized. Businesses were blemished and belongings like cars were destroyed. These are not victimless crimes. Here at CSN, we say it often, but it needs to be said again. If you see something, say something. 
Two weeks ago, students here at Claremont organized and participated in a walkout for gun safety. Since then, there have been three shooting cases. All of these shootings resulted in teenage victims for simply being at the wrong place at the wrong time. On Thursday, April 13th, an 84-year-old white man shot a black teenager after he innocently walked to the wrong house. Ralph Yarl was a 16-year-old was going to pick up his younger twin brothers. Yarl survived after being shot twice, once in the left forehead and right arm. The man that shot him is being charged with first degree assault, which could bring a sentence of life in prison. Three days later, on April 15th, Kaylin Gills, a 20 year old woman, her boyfriend, and her friends drove into the wrong driveway in upstate New York. New York. Her life was taken because of this innocent mistake. Monahan, the homeowner who allegedly shot into the car, has been charged with second degree murder and was arraigned two weeks ago. More recently, a week ago in Texas, two teenage cheerleaders were shot after one mistakenly got into the wrong car. It was reported that as the cheerleaders were leaving the scene, the suspected shooter opened fired on the car as it was driving away. Did you guys know that the leading cause of death for kids in the United States comes from guns, not car accidents or illness, three shootings in less than one week, all which having to do with teenage victims. That's us, that's your best friend, that's your teammate or your table partner. Continue to walk out, continue to use your voice, and for the time being, stay safe. Now, let's get positive. Switch up the mood and talk about something fun that you could do with your friends. CHS is going to Europe for next year's spring break and you can be a part of it. The CHS Globetrotter program has taken students around the globe to visit amazing places such as Paris, London, and Rome. This year, the program is taking students on a trip from Europe, or to Europe, visiting France, Germany, and Switzerland. There are currently 20 students who have already signed up, but if we can get it to 30 students, our group will be eligible for private tours, which means that we would not have to tour with any other groups or any stinky Frenchmen. If you are interested, you can find more information on our swag or you can email Miss Heidi at hfulton at sandy.net. With summer right around the corner, so are new films. What's going to be released? Our entertainment reporter is here with an update on what's up and coming. Summer is coming and it's going to be hot. You're going to want to turn on that AC because some hot new movies are heading to theaters near you. And if I were you, I would not want to miss out. Here are some of the most anticipated flicks of the year. The first movie we got for you is The Little Mermaid. This will be released on May 26. The youngest of King Triton's daughters, Ariel, is a beautiful and spirited young mermaid with a thirst for adventure. We all know this story from our childhood, but this time is different. Disney has taken another animated classic and taken it to live action. This is a different look you won't want to miss. The action in CGI is incredible as Ariel makes her own path, leaving the comforts of a mermaid's ocean to live on land. The next movie I went to see was Big George Foreman. It will be released to the public on April 28th. From Olympic gold medalist to world heavyweight champion, boxer George Foreman leads a remarkable life. He finds faith, retires, and becomes a preacher. But when financial hardship hits his family and church, George steps back in the ring and regains the championship at age 45, becoming the oldest heavyweight champion bo in boxing history. Lastly, what we have for you is The Flash. Don't blink or you'll miss it. The movie will come out on June 16th. Worlds collide when The Flash uses his superpowers to travel back in time to change the events of the past. However, when his attempt to save his family fails, he becomes trapped in reality in which General Zod has returned, threatening annihilation. With no other superheroes to turn to, The Flash looks to coax a very different Batman out of retirement and rescues an imprisoned Crytonian. However, it's not the one he's looking for. There are a lot of new movies to look forward to. I'm ready to see them all, so make sure to get to a theater near you. Sit back and relax and enjoy the shows. And I hope to see you at the movies. Julia Gibson, CSN. As we walked by Alfie's class, we saw the students sitting on their desks with their feet up. So instead of continuing our walk, you know we had to peek our, head, our heads in and be nosy to see what was going on. We are taping ankles currently. Yeah, we've been dealing with feet for probably two weeks, so we know to keep them clean. It's really fun. It's um, really interesting how you get to like maneuver the tape and stuff. So it helps like stabilize the ankle. So um, 
It kind of like prevents like sprains and stuff. After they're done taping or while they're taping, you give tips if you need to tighten it up or if it's too tight where you're cutting off circulation. This last week, the Health and Medical Academy took a trip downtown to visit the STEM X conference. 200 Claremont students learned about the various jobs in STEM and what role they play in the world. They also explored opportunities they could get having a job in the STEM field. Kids heard from professionals in the field who encouraged them to take time to figure out what they're passionate about. There were also many different activity rooms such as flight simulators, bouncy ball making, and mini cargo ship building. These fun field trips don't happen too often, so if you're presented with the chance to go on one, take it. Also hitting the road was Miss Samora's class when they went to UCSD. They say that the more learning goes on outside of the classroom, and this was a perfect example of that. Even if the understanding is simply the fact that a college campus in itself is like a small city, meaning everything you need is right there for you. And let's not forget how busy Miss Dossa and our school band have been. Two weeks ago, they performed at the Rady Shell where they had been featured on TV. It was a great opportunity for them. And then last week, the band had performed the national anthem in front of all the fans at the Padres game. After their performance, they were very exhausted from all their hard work they had put in. But luckily, it was a good exhausted. So if you see any of the band members or Miss Dossett around campus, please congratulate, congratulate them on both of their wonderful performances. Hey seniors, the end of the school year is coming up fast and it's time to clear those tardies. Luckily for you, we have a couple of ways that we think might help. The first option would be IRT or instructional recovery time. IRT is when you can go to any teacher and ask if they need help around their classroom or you can ask for tutoring or just to work on any classwork. Another way is the after school weight room program that they call the gym rats. In room 114 on Wednesdays from 8.45 a.m. to 9.45 a.m. Tutoring takes place where you'll be able to catch up on schoolwork. And the last and arguably most effective method would be to go to Saturday school. Saturday school is four hours long and can get rid of four single period absences or 16 tardies. And for everything else, every 15 minutes is one tardy cleared from your transcript. For more information, feel free to ask a teacher or office faculty member to see what you could do to make sure that you walk for graduation. Are you falling behind in any of your classes or just need some extra help? If so, we've got you covered. Come by the library after school where Upward Bound is offering free tutoring until 5 p.m. They will be in there on Tuesdays and Thursdays, so make sure to plan accordingly. It's time to catch up. Key Club is looking for new members to join. The Key Club is a national organization that focuses on fostering leadership and services. The club holds meetings in room 306 every Tuesday at lunch. The Key Club also holds events that anyone can participate in, such as beach cleanups, food banks, and fundraisers. The club is always looking for more members, so if you are interested or have any further questions, please ask Ms. Clark or show up to the next meeting. If you are looking for something community-oriented to participate in, then Key Club is the place for you. Hey Chieftains, if you are craving something during the winter or summer time, you should check out Kindness Coffee. They are open Tuesdays and Thursdays during second period and seven minutes into lunch. During the winter time, you can buy hot chocolate, water, chips, and cookies. And during the summer time, they will start selling ice pops, cold water, and possibly Capri Suns. They have a menu and pricing char chart on their cart, so not only can you pay in cash, but you can also pay through your Venmo. If your purchase is over $5, you will be charged a 50 cent Venmo free. Any anything under will be a 10 cent Venmo free. Hope to see you guys supporting our Kindness Coffee. Have something to say? Anything interesting going on in your classes? Tell your story by contacting Mr. Sparks at dsparks.sandy.net. Now it's time for this week's sports. What do you have for us this week, Davis? What's up, Chieftains? Welcome back to sports this week. Let's dive into this sports schedule as we don't have a very busy one. Monday will be boys varsity baseball playing on Monday against Scripps Ranch at four on our home turf. On Tuesday, there will be two games at four, both being away. First is boys varsity baseball at Scripps Ranch, and another is girls varsity softball at Mira Mesa. Varsity badminton will be starting off Wednesday strong at Lincoln at 4.30. Both girls and varsity lacrosse will have games will take place at Morse at 5, and boys will be at Canyon Hills at 5.30. Once again on Thursday, Varsity Batman will be against Crawford at 3.30. Boys Varsity Baseball will be batting against Scripps Ranch another time at 4, ending with Thursday off with Girls Varsity Softball away at Grossmont at 4. 
Ending the sports week on Friday with girls varsity lacrosse at Lincoln will be boys varsity lacro lacrosse at Morris at 4. And for our last game of the week, boys varsity volleyball will be over at 6.15 at Hoover. That's all we got for this week's sports. See you guys back at the desk. Thank you, Davis. If you missed anything from this week's sports, be sure to check the Claremont website under the Athletics tab. On this day in history, April 24th, we took a trip back to the future in 1990, where the Hubble launched. This was a space shuttle discovered on Discovery on the mission STS-31. This shuttle launched from the Kennedy Space Center, located in Florida, carrying approximately five astronauts and the Hubble Space Telescope. This had ushered a new golden age for astronomy. NASA's Hubble telescope was released to the crew into Earth's orbit the next day, and the universe hasn't looked the same since. Thank you, Hubble Telescope, for brightening our world. That's all we have for you this week. But before we go, we have some pretty cool footage from the pep rally two weeks ago. We haven't had a chance to share with you yet since Sparks was out last week. So let's go back and revisit our last pep rally of the year. Bye. Bye.